Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to episode 31 of this Derby County Pyramid. I know it's been a, a bit longer than usual between the episodes, but we are back today um, on this Derby County Career Mode, of course. Um, today's episode, there's going to be two games in it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it. We're going to start the uh, kickstart the episode with this away game at Brighton. If you do go on to enjoy the episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you do want to enjoy it. And yeah, we are going to get into the action, uh, like I said, away at um, Brighton last time out. I think we we picked up our first win of the season since opening day. Yeah, we did. Um, at home to local rivals Leicester City, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, we face Brighton away um, today, of course. And yeah, um... Do we make any changes? I'm going to say no. Billing scored his first goal of the season last time. So he's normally the one that I'm switching with Bielik at the minute. I was tempted to give Musay another start. But in the end, um, I thought, you know, give give Rooney another start as well. So, um, yeah, we, we go into this away game against Brighton. Hoping to um, continue our momentum on for the last game and pick up another win. Um you know, this game, in theory, should be a lot easier than um, le the Leicester game. And we dominated that one. So, um, well, for, for some parts anyway. And um, But yeah, let's just see how we do. And I've been, you know, I was pleased with that result against Leicester. Because we, we hadn't won since the opening game of the season. We hadn't won, won in six games, I think it was, before that. So, yeah, very nice to uh, get that win. And we are looking to get another win here away at Brighton and Hove Albion. As Brighton kick us off, um, here yeah, Montoya, the right back, is on the ball at the minute. Saka trying to get the tackle in, and he does, and it's out for a Brighton throw in, which Montoya is going to take. We've got a lot of players I don't recognise, um, to be honest. You know, a lot of new signings. Um, Saka's on the ball at the minute. Now Mason Mount. Mason Mount coming forward. Oh, that's awful from Mason Mount. I don't, I don't think he could make his mind up between Rooney and I think it was Saka. So uh, in the end, just gives the ball straight back to Brighton. Now they come forward. So Zabi can head it down to Tamori, who can play it. Now it's Mason Mount. Better pass from him that time. Abraham. Now Rooney. Back into Tammy Abraham. He just couldn't get there. Unfortunately, but Jack Clark can. Mason Mount. Through to Tammy Abraham. Can we get this opening goal? Abraham into Saka. Saka with a shot. It's hit the post and it's cleared. We could have executed that move a lot better. It was like we had about five players in the box and Brighton didn't have many back, to be honest. But unfortunately, just couldn't come away with the goal there as we hit the post. Now Brighton coming forward. Gusto and Tamori can just get the block in before Trossard came away with the shot and it's Tammy Abraham into Rooney now back heels it into Mount sends away Saka Saka's through battling with the defender but he's broke away Bukayo Saka to get us the first goal and he has after 18 minutes we lead uh, Brighton Hove Albion 1-0 brilliant he works move Rooney with a brilliant back heel into Mount uh, who played the pass through to Saka Saka shoved off the man and um, gets his fourth goal of the season to put us ahead and on course to get our second win in a row uh, in the Premier League for the first time which will uh, definitely lift us away from the relegation zone a bit more we have to be honest um, even when we were just on I think it was four four points um, with just the win and the draw before that Leicester game we were still like 15th it seems like the teams that are doing bad are really doing bad so we can't be doing that bad um, but Tammy Abraham through to Rooney trying to make it a two goal lead um, Rooney into Mount now Saka into Tammy Abraham we're just trying to break down this Brighton defence it's him to Jaden Bogle Bogle with the cross in Rooney with the header it's a tap in well a header in um, should I say for Rooney and he makes it two Rooney started that move off and he finishes it um, brilliant cross from Bogle but Rooney was far too free there um, from you know looking at Brighton's defence it de definitely wasn't very good Jack Clark plays in Bogle Rooney is unbelievably free 
um, at the back post and he heads in his third goal of the season for us and gives us a comfortable lead, a deserved lead. Um, Brighton's defence have been nowhere, it seems, um, so far for these two goals and yeah, we lead them um, with a very good first 30 minutes. And they are coming forward now though, trying to get back in this game. Low just about intercepts, but loses the ball again and wins the free kick. Um, from that, and Tomori takes the uh, free kick back to Dean Henderson, who's had, um, that's pretty much his first touch on 30 minutes. Um, Dean Henderson there, and it's Philip Billing into Wayne Rooney now. Now Saka. Tammy Abraham, 1-2 with him, but Tammy Abraham just couldn't squeeze the second pass back into Saka there. And uh, Brighton come away with the ball. Montoya, again, he's been like their main threat and he's their right back. Um, that's definitely saying something. Tomori gets the block and the tackle away, but gives the ball back. Montoya, now Tau. Lowe gets the block in and can just prevent that from going out for a corner. Now it's Tomori into Mount but that's another poor bit of defending from Tomori and it's led to a Brighton goal in the end I mean it's not poor defending both times Tomori's won it but then from the following pass or dribble on he's lost the ball and Trossard has got Brighton back in this game Dean Henderson hasn't had a save to make and again he, he still hasn't made a save because it's got past him unfortunately and Tomori at fault there really which you wouldn't expect from him really and we come forward though trying to make it a two goal lead once more but Brighton come away with the ball and it's Bogle that can win that it's into Mason Mount Rooney now Billy Saka Tammy Abraham Abraham beats his man battling with the second but just couldn't come away with the ball and there goes the half time whistle then uh, we lead 2-1, uh, very good first half, uh, first 30 minutes, um, getting two goals there from uh, Saka and Rooney. Then towards the end of the half, a bit of sloppiness from Fikayo Tomori, um, and he's give, given Brighton a, a path back into this game with Trossard finishing. Um, but we, we look to um, start this second half well, and it's Tammy Abraham coming forward. It's out to Jack Clark. Back into Abraham. Oh, Abraham, that's a poor pass. He's not been at his best today either. And Andone comes away with the ball. To Nzebi with the brilliant tackle. And he comes forward, driving forward from centre-back. Plays it into Jack Clark. Clark with the shot. It's a good save. But it comes back to Rooney. And it's blocked. Rooney pretty much had an open goal. But he just couldn't find it past the two defenders that were trying to block it. And it's out for a corner. Mount tries to look for the short. But Saka's half asleep, it seems. And... It's cleared out for a throw in. Bogle takes it into Jack Clark. Now Tammy Abraham. Jaden Bogle. Back kills it into Mason Mount. Now Billing. Mount again. Oh, that's poor from Mount. Once more. And we've we've definitely not been at our best today. Um, despite our two goals early on. No, it hasn't been the be best performance um, by any means. But you know that's what we need. A bit of luck sometimes which we haven't been getting when we've played well towards the start of this season as Brighton get the equaliser. Typical. I was just about to say, when we when we play well, we don't come away with the result, but when we play well... No. Um, when we play well, we don't come away with the result, but when we don't play well, sometimes we do come away with it, but, you know, we, we, we can't say we don't deserve that. Um there and it's 2-2 two, two. too soppy at the back again and Mount comes away with the ball it's into Saka on the edge of the box to put us back in the lead he's got there again but it's just over the bar from Saka and Angel Gomez is going to come on the pitch after that he's going to come on for Mason Mount who's had definitely not the best of games to be honest um, and yeah let's see if Angel Gomez can create a bit of magic to get us back in the lead we've thrown away a two goal lead um, and it would be brilliant to come over with the three points here. You know, it would definitely not be deserved, but despite throwing away that lead to then, you know, win it, it would be very nice. But Jah Jahan Batch, um he's coming forward, one of Brighton's best players. He's just come off the bench, actually. It's crossed in. Augusto, Bogle can just not clear it, actually, and Jack Clark gets there. 
but we still don't clear and it's blocked from Tomori in the end and Dean Henderson can claim that Tomori out to Saka Saka into Billing Billing switches the play over to Clark and Clark just about wins the throwing can we get a late winner here Bogle into Clark from the throwing now Billing Angel Gomez Rooney Tammy Adrian's a bit in his way there but it's out to Jack Clark Clark with the cross in, it's towards it. Angel Gomez, but Ma Matthew Ryan comes out and claims the ball. And he rolls it out to Sh Sean, Shane Duffy. Uh, Shane Duffy, yeah. Saka gets there, though. Can he get to the second one? Yes, he can. Billing. Billing tries to play it to Rooney, but won't reach him. And Brighton come away with the ball again. Neil Moore pay on. No, it's Augusto, now Trossard. Jack Clark gets there again, but can't come away with the ball, and it's played through to Trossard. Can Brighton get a late winner, maybe? Trossard's still on it. He's found it his way in, but it's cleared, and billing now Gomez. Can we break and get this late winner? Rooney into Tammy Abraham. Back into Wayne Rooney. Rooney loses the ball, unfortunately, and that might have been our last chance to go forward. But Brighton are now. Trossard. Billing gets the tackling. Now it's Jack Clark. Gomez into Rooney. Here's Rooney. Now Tommy Abraham. Abraham. Rooney. Tommy Abraham gets in the way of the pass out to Jack Clark. Tommy Abraham has not had a good game, and that should be that, unless Brighton can get a late winner here. It's Neil Morpe. Now Augusto. Just about get the tackling. Oh, it fell for Neil Morpe, but the saviour there is to Nzebe. And there goes the full-time whistle. We were 2-0 up inside 30 minutes, but unfortunately we have thrown it away. Trossard and Tau with the Brighton goals, and it ends up 2-2. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a good performance really there, and you can't say we d we don't deserve to throw that away really. And um, Yeah, we come away with a point, which is, you know, better than a, a defeat. Just a minute of your but, time. Um, we should have won. But again, then again, we we should have won being 2 0 up, but we should have lost on the performance. So, you know, Thank that's you. how that's it, it is. And the man of the match is going to go um, once again to Axel to AB. I think he's had a brilliant start to his career at Derby and um, been really solid at the back. And yeah, we're still in 13th with eight points, which is not bad at all. Um, Stoker bottom with zero, Fulham and Burnley complete the bottom three but we face Tottenham now who are third with only one defeat um, only six goals conceded as well um, at home so it's going to be a tough game we are going to make a few changes going into that game a few players dropped that I wasn't impressed with so Jack Marriott's going to come on for Tammy Abraham Angel Gomez in for Mount and was there anyone um, be looking for Tomori as well because I, th I don't think Tomori had a good game either so um, yeah, let's you know a few a few of the the new signings. All well, that's actually all three of the new Chelsea signings, who I thought would be the best players, but they all had fairly poor games actually, um, which is a surprise. But we're we're looking for a, a few of the older, you know, the the uh, last season's players. You know, Jack Marriott was our top scorer, um, or our joint top scorer with Rooney or something like that. Um, and um, obviously Bielik was what the season they did an alright job but yeah at home to Spurs it's going to be a very tough game against the side who have only conceded um, I think four goals or something and um, also they've they've only lost one game and they've won everything, everything else so it's going to be a tough game but can we bounce back from that disappointing uh, draw against Brighton, let's see. Um, we lose the ball here. Dignay into Sessignon. Now Harry Kane. Sessignon again. It looks like a good Tottenham side, actually. Sessignon coming forward, chips it in. Deli Alley is there, but Dean Henderson can clear it. And now it's Bogle out to Jack Clark, who was one of the better players in that last game. And it's through to him. Can Jack Clark get us an early shot lead? 
at Tottenham here. He's thrown goal. Can he do the right thing? Yes, he can. Jack Clark gets us a very, very um, surprising lead at home in the first 10 minutes for Tottenham Hotspur. Um, Jack Clark, what a brilliant finish from him. Ruth signing who um, I think was probably the most surprising signing. I don't think you guys really expected it. Um, a few of you might not have even heard of him before, but yeah, Jack Clark, um, I've given him a good chance and he's paid me back. That's his second goal of the season and it's a brilliant finish from him. And yeah, we, we take a very, very big shock lead here at Tottenham. Whether it will last, that's another thing. But yeah, it's brilliant to get that early goal. Billing out to Clark now. Through to Marriott. Marriott into Rooney. Rooney, that's poor. I don't know if he was looking for Marriott or Clark there, but... Allen out to Svensson. Low gets the brilliant tackle in there. Angel Gomez comes away with it. Now it's Saka. We are playing some brilliant stuff at the minute. Saka through to Rooney. Rooney to put us two up. Oh, he's took it away from the goal. He had a good chance. Yes, it was on his left foot, but still, you know, he was looking to get it on his right, but he could have just maybe shot there and tried to make it two. He would have at least maybe won a corner, but he opts not to shoot in the end. Eventually loses the ball, which is a shame and unlike Wayne Rooney, really. Um, but Tottenham come forward again. Allen into Svensson. Now Mendes. Crossed in. Deli Alli's there, but Twins Aby gets to the header. And from the rebound from Harry Kane, that's a brilliant save from Dean Henderson. It's going to be whipped in. Billing just about clears, but it's in Dombele now. Dombele looking for the shot, and it's a brilliant save from Henderson, and he keeps hold of it as well. And he rolls it out to Bogle, out to Clark. Can we get this quick counter attack off? It's into Jack Marriott. Marriott just loses the ball, but he actually wins the foul there. I think. Uh, I think it was Sessingham that kind of stood on his heels a bit there and it's Bogle into Clark now. Clark just couldn't squeeze the pass through to Marriott. That's unlucky. And Mendes now Kane come over with the ball. And Dombele through to Harry Kane. Harry Kane has got a good chance to equalise here for Tottenham. Oh, he puts it across goal and Bogle is there. Bogle has had a brilliant game so far and he beats his fellow Englishman Sesson Young there Kane I'm surprised he didn't just cut inside and shoot there but um, through to Bogle now he's definitely been the best player on the pitch so far it's into Marriott through to Angel Gomez through to Saka oh he should have shot Gomez that was a massive chance to put us two in the lot but he doesn't and instead of going for the shot Gomez he tries to play it through to Saka and round the keeper but it wasn't happening, and but what a first half performance this has been um, at home to Tottenham. Who, you know, who are very, very good side. Um, we've played very well defensively as well, and Clark takes a quick throw in into Marriott. Oh, Marriott with a poor kind of knee back to Clark there, and Clark couldn't really do anything about it. Svensson, now Allen. Svensson again. Lowe gets the tackle in again. He just loses it that time, but some of those tackles from Lowe and Bogle have been brilliant. Kane is through on goal now, but again, helps not to carry on the, the run. Deli Alley into Sesson Young, and Sesson Young does equalise. That is unfair on us, to be fair. Um, when Brighton equalised, it was well deserved in that last game, but. To, you know, to go go um, to, for Tottenham to equalise there. It's been a brilliant first half performance from us, and unfortunately, right on the stroke of half time, Tottenham have equalised uh, through to Ryan Sessignon there, and it's just unlucky, but um, that's that, I guess. And I think this, this side is very much capable of getting a second out, at least holding on to a point. I mean, I'd definitely take a point against Tottenham here, but given that we've played very well. I think we've got a good chance to go on and get all three here. Rooney just about gets there and it's out to Jack Clark. Clark into Rooney. Rooney, what is he doing there? I don't know what he was doing, to be honest, but it's back to the keeper now. Maurice. Out to Carter Vickers. Now Svensson. 
plays it forward to Mendes. Just a reminder, we have more Ali. Action from the Premier League coming your way. Sessignon. It's Derby County facing Fulham. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. <sighs> Still going forward in Dombele. Oh, Twins Abit gets the tackling. That is brilliant. And we come away on the counter. Rooney is through. He's got players on him, but he's got away from them. Wayne Rooney. Finesses it round the keeper. We re regain our lead at home to the London side Tottenham Rooney with a brilliant finesse around the keeper but that was all from Twins AB uh, winning the ball at the back and yeah, Rooney is still on goal and Rooney never misses in those situations and we, we re regain our lead 2-1 at home to Tottenham what a result this would be um, Bogle with another brilliant tackle on setting up Billing can get there. Now it's Angel Gomez, Marriott. Marriott through to Rooney. Just looking to beat that defence now. Marriott, Rooney again. Marriott is still battling, but Tottenham do come away with the ball there. It's Harry Kane. Now Ndombele. Allen back into Ndombele. Can Gomez get there? No. We can't just sit up sit and defend now because it is Tottenham. They'll score against you. We can't do that for... We could maybe do that for 10, 20 minutes, but not for half an hour. Um, and it's a brilliant finesse. Oh, I wondered why they weren't celebrating then. I thought that had gone in, but it it must have curled round and gone into the side netting. I don't know how that's happened, but I, th I was just getting ready to say, oh, they've equalised, but thank goodness not. Um, be looking to Saka now. Rooney. Saka. Rooney, back into Marriott. Can we make it three? Marriott goes for the finesse and it's blocked and it should go out for a corner clock. Does about get there, but it's gone out anyway. Uh, we are going to make our first substitution of the game. Saka's going to go off for Dean Garner. Get Dean Garner a bit of play time. Angel Gomez takes the corner short into um, Rooney. Now it's Dean Garner. Just couldn't quite squeeze it through to Clark there. And Tottenham can maybe break now. Svensson. Coming forward, Bielik is chasing him. That's a brilliant tackle from Bielik. Our tackling today has been absolutely superb. Dean Garner wins that throw-in. Um, and Bielik into Dean Garner now. Gomez. Back into Dean Garner. He plays it out to Max Lowe. Dean Garner gets tackled, but no foul given. It was a bit rough, but I, he did win the ball, to be fair. So... Um, Harry Kane comes forward now. Can we please survive for the last 15 minutes? What a result it would be. We definitely deserve it as well. Clark into Marriott. Bogle, who's been by far the best player today. Him and Lowe have been absolutely superb at fullback. Bogle driving into the box. Gomez on the edge of it. Dean Garner, is he offside? Oh, he was, and it's a brilliant save in the end, actually, from... Uh, the recent goal, Mount's come on for this last 10 minutes. It's normally the other way around, but Mount is on for Gomez for this last 10 minutes. And Mount wins that uh, header straight away. It's Dean Garner into Mount. Marriott. Mason Mount again, the substitute. He's just come on. Oh, decent shot, but pretty much straight at the, uh, the keeper there. Billing wins that. Tottenham are pushing loads of players forward, and we can just hopefully cast... Um, you know, take advantage of that and um, capitalise on it. Um, but we just couldn't squeeze the ball through there. Sassignon. Tottenham might have just one more chance, but we don't want to let them have that chance. But we might be forced to due to Sassignon's pace here. He swings it in, but that's going to go out for a goal kick. That's a poor cross in the end. And we're going to waste a bit more time. Bring Vicaro to Mori on for Bielik uh, for this last minute or so. And that might have just won us it there, that poor Sessignon cross. Billing into Mount. Marriott. Oh, that's a poor pass. And Tottenham might have just one more chance to go forward. No, they can't. Mount gets the interception in. That should be that. And it is that. What a result there then. We've won 2 1 at home to third place Tottenham. They'd only lost one before that. They they'd only conceded about five, but four or five, but what a result that is and yeah we come out on top 2-1 winners on the day uh, my man of the match has got to go to Jaden Bogle 
after um, a really, a really good questions. performance from him. It was close between him and Lowe, to be fair, but um, yeah, it was absolute, um, absolutely brilliant performance. And um, there we go then. I hope you guys Thank have enjoyed so it. Much. We're back with the career mode, obviously, episode 31. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. We move up to 12th with that brilliant win over Tottenham. Uh, next episode, we are going to be face facing Fulham and Liverpool and maybe Crystal Palace as well. We've got quite an empty November, but that Liverpool game will certainly be a tough game. But we thought that against Tottenham, but we, we beat them. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.